welcome back to a guy's afternoon in a get okay sorry sorry not anyways welcome back to impact if you're tired of hearing my voice you know, you could just put the mute button on put the mute button on you and watch the action we have because we got some good action here man we got some good matches here and this is one young team right here man who they promised the world. They promised that they are the next best thing ever to tag team wrestling. They promised they are the team to revive tag team wrestling, and they couldn't deliver. They could not deliver on their debuts, man. Couldn't deliver, man. And tonight, they have a rematch against the team they couldn't beat. The team of London and Kendrick. This is going to be very interesting to watch, folks, because... This team is, they you know, they got young talent, but yet they're so, they can't do anything about it. They can be a tag team. Folks, simple as that. Simple as that. But here comes a team that's actually very experienced, very, very veteran-ish. Yeah, veteran-ish. Look it up. It's a word nowadays. <laughs> it's a word in America. This team right here, London and Kendrick, man, they've done it all. Not, I, don't, I don't know if they've done it all, but they've done everything you need here in Tag Team Wrestling. They've been champs before, right? Have they been champs? Not here in ECW, though. But have they been champs? That's the question. Now look it up. Wikipedia, that bitch. And, you know, they were not winning matches as of late. They were getting their ass kicked until this team came up along. And let's see if they can pick up a win tonight or if this new tag team... We'll do what everyone expects them to do and start winning matches and start winning everything nowadays. But we'll see right now. That's why we compete in the square circle, not on pieces of paper. And you couldn't really compete on pieces of paper because the pieces of paper wouldn't move or anything. Unless you moved them. That would be pretty cool. You can actually move the pieces of paper. But anyways, YouTube a video of you can make pieces of paper rustle. And YouTube it and I will like it. But it's starting off here. Here comes the, the, uh, comes. Oh, dang him. Chris Torres down on his ass. Comes Paul London taking control. Wait a second. Look at Chris telling him, nope. Oh, trying to drop a drop kick. This is what I'm talking about. They are sloppy in that very squared circle, and they can't do anything about it. Oh, wait, the back. Not looking good, man. Not looking good. Chris Torres in a lot of trouble right now, man. London taking care. Wait a second. A little bit of Hardy-style tag team right there by London and Kendrick. London going out. Brian Kendrick coming in. And look at the look at the elbow. Wait a second. Whisper in the wind misses it. Brian Kendrick able to. Wait a second. Wait a second. Shucky ducky quack quack. That was a very nice maneuver by... Brian Kendrick. But Chris Torres able to get out the way of that one. He's a veteran nowadays. Nah, he's a rookie here in ECW. But don't underestimate the rookies here. They've done a lot. Look at Diego Diaz, man. I think that's what they're hoping to capture. I think they're hoping to capture that lightning lightning in a bottle like uh, Diego Diaz captured. But I'm not sure. But here comes Sean Murphy. Another guy who was very impressed. I think could be very impressive on his own, but anyways, here he goes. Look at these. Look at him trying to get the pick. He's very desperate to get that first win here, man. Wait a second. I'm getting the message. Oh, no, that's not. That's not it. Yep, that was Booker T for you folks. He just came along to say Shucky Ducky Quack Quack. And now I don't know why he's here. He should be on Nitro, you know, the the show that will be on after Impact. You want to watch that? That will be awesome. Main event status, you know, the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. When it is a grudge match. When, oh, wait a second. The best thing since sliced bread connects, and this could be it. Yes, it's over. Kendrick, Brian Kendrick, and Paul London will pick up a win again over this team of crisis. Wow. When are these two guys going to pick up a win? Because these two guys just beat him again. Again. Remember, Nitro will have the match. The Intercontinental Championship match of Kevin Nash taking on the challenger. Not the challenger. Wow, Kevin Nash is the challenger. And he'll be taking on the champion, Riley Sparks. And which should be a pretty good match because 
If you remember, Kevin Nash was one day going to be the bodyguard of Riley Sparks until Riley Sparks, well, he pretty much set the dog, Brodus Clay, on him to kick his ass, and Brodus Clay did that. But now let's get back to Impact. As you can see, they are celebrating, man. Another win for this tag team. I'm telling you, Mick Foley needs to be watching these matches because he might be seeing the future number one contenders right here in London and Kendrick, man. They are impressive. And you can't tell me they're not. These guys are great. No, they're not great. They're good. <laughs> but they're, they're happy with this win. And they know they got they know they deserve this win. Wait a second. Here comes JBL and Scott Steiner. The legends. What are they doing, man? I am a real American. Oh, look at Chris Torres. Not happy. Not happy. And here comes Sean. Just on the way. Oh, wait a second. Uh oh. And we can't beat London and Kendrick. Are you serious, man? If we don't step it up, we're. Yeah, you will be gone if you can't pick up a win eventually. You're the greatest. Okay. The greatest tag team ever. You can't pick up a damn win. Okay. You're a damn fool. You know that? Wait a second. What is the Cruiserweight Champion, Hardcore Champion? doing here wait a second what is Diaz telling these guys oh come on so butt out D that's a double T that's a one T man wait no that, that was right I was right well I don't a mentor wait a second and Jim Foley wants to see the team of crisis in his office right now. What the hell? But wow, that's a that's something not bad. That's Diego Diaz being the mentor for these guys. Will that happen? Will it happen? Now, I think Sean David Sean Mercy said no. But anyway, this is gonna be the next match after we see our camera somehow pick up the next Foley thing. This will be our next match for Joe Batista taking on JBL and Scott Steiner. But let's take it to the back right now. When Mick Foley is about to address Crisis. A shot, please, please. I'm not firing you two tonight, but if you don't win it at, oh wait a second. Holy crap, so if they don't win it after shock, they're getting fired. Oh, wait a second. Look at Sean Murphy trying to insult Mick Foley right there. Mick Foley having none of it. Mick Foley telling him, get the hell out of my office. Get out of here, suckers. And have a nice day. But let's get to the main event. The main reason you're in here. They are real Americans. Or are they? Exactly where is Scott Steiner from? Looks Canadian to me. Hmm. <laughs> Here come the legends. I don't think he's from Canada. Is he? I don't know. I think he's from America. I don't know. You tell me. JBO. JBL. John Bradshaw Layfield. Well, he was supposed to have a match against RVD at the pay per view after Shock, but. We don't know what happened. You know, we don't know the condition of Rob Van Dam heading into the pay-per-view. So I, I think at the moment is, you know, what is JBO going to be doing at the pay-per-view? You know, is he going to have a match or what? I, I'm not sure what his position is right now, but we'll see, though. We'll see, and uh, hopefully he addresses that tonight, who his opponent will be, or if he will, you know, ha want to have a replacement match or what he will do at Aftershock because the people love to see JBL. They love to hate him. As for Scott Steiner, him and Samoa Johnny have settled out their issues. The God, the wrestling God, JBL, RVD, you know. So, Jim Foley, I want to be a part of the... Wait a second, he's trying to make it a triple threat? That's his demand. Why should he fulfill your, your demands, JBL? Come on, tell me why. Wait a second, Scott Steiner thinking something. He should be in the match just like I should have a match against Samoa... Okay, I don't think you should have a match for that championship because you can't beat Samoa Joe. Simple as that. I know that you cannot beat him. You know what? I. Oh, okay. Thank you, Scott Steiner. We know you can pin. You know, we know you can count. We know you can count a pin count. Good job. But strong words, words sent from JBL right there wanting a chance at the ECW championship. 
And if he beats Batista and Samoa Joe, what's to say he doesn't deserve a chance at the ECW Championship? Because he just defeated, you know, him and Scott Steiner would have defeated the classic champion, which is the, which is like the equivalent of a Intercontinental Championship or United States Championship. And he would have beaten the number one contender for the ECW Championship, the animal Batista. So what's not to say he doesn't deserve it? We'll see right now after this match who picks up the win and what's going to happen because this match could have a lot going into the pay-per-view. We might actually see some changes here. Mick Foley really watching tonight's impact, trying to see if there's anything that he can improve to the pay-per-view aftershock to make something different because if JBL doesn't win tonight, he's in the, in, you know he's going to have to be helping you know, Raw Van Dam and compete because I don't see who else on the roster will face JBL. Here he comes, folks, making his, well, making his, com coming back, man. He's coming back to ECW, the Impact, man, Impact, making his first appearance here on Impact, the Animal. Ah, let him do the fireworks. Batista. After demolishing Mason Ryan, a WWE superstar, in a steel cage match at WrestleMania, he's come back to ECW, the brand he belongs to, ECW, folks. This man belongs here in ECW, former ECW champion, before he was ran over by Mason Ryan. And he said he's come back to ECW to get what is his and what is the, you know, he's supposed to be given a rematch. For a title he never lost. Now many people say that's not right. That's not right. He deserves the champ, the championship. There's other guys here that deserve it. Well, Rob Van Dam, the former ECW championship, got his match against Kurt Angle at at Tuesday night ECW, and he lost. You know he lost the match, and Batista. Well, that's it. Batista would be the next guy in the line. I'm assuming, right? JBL believes it's him, but we'll see. So it's going to be Samoa Joe and JBL kicking it off here tonight. They're about to go tiptoe action. Here we go. The champ and uh, JBL. Or the wrestling god. I'm sorry. Look at the punches being thrown by Samoa Joe. This big Samoan dude. The classic champion. You know, he has nothing set up right now. Or does he? I don't know. You'll see. If he loses, he might have some. He might have to taste gone. Scott Steiner. Big Papa Pump. The real deal sex machine. Wait a second, JBL taught. Look at him trying to get that, trying to get a shot right there at the stomach of Samoa Joe. Snake Eyes? Yep, Snake Eyes, son. Snake Eyes by, some, by JBL, man. JBL really going to town right now against. That's sick, man. Kicking his ass, man. Watch out. Next week will be the last impact before the pay-per-view Aftershock, which should be one fun night because Aftershock is always really cool, man. Aftershock is going to be one cool pay-per-view. You don't want to miss the ECW pay-per-view. We got a pre-show coming up for you, too, on, uh, for Aftershock as well. Scott Steiner coming in now, Samoa Joe. Here it goes, Scott. You want to prove that you deserve a chance again, Samoa Joe for that championship. Here it is. Do your work and beat the crap out of Samoa Joe like you're doing right now. Samoa Joe says, let me grab your hand. Let me twist you around. Let me, oh, oh Scott Steiner, man. Veteran, a oh, ring veteran, man. That's why he's part of the legends here. Oh, close one by Scott Steiner. This guy's kicking ass right now. I am a real American. Again, fight for, wait a second, Scott Steiner going for the pin, but Batista will have none of that. Wait a tick, wait a tick, wow, what a double, come on referee, what are you doing, man? Sometimes I think, who pays the referee to be this stupid? Oh, look at Scott Steiner just showing off right in front of Samoa with Joe, oh no, no, Tiger Bomb. A tiger bomb. And now look at, oh my god, no, 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 no. Look at Batista being smart, telling ba Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner, what are you doing, man? I'm not going to let you attack Samoa. Joe, look at Joe. Joe. 
Wait a second, look at Scott Steiner brings it down. He's gonna bring the pain, the pain. Oh, it's over, it's over. No, no, Joe says, no, it's not over. I'm rejuvenated to get Batiste to the tack so he can come in and just deliver the beat down to these two gentlemen. Batista, whoa, uh-oh, hooking it up, setting it up. Batista, what goes up? Must come down, and that's what just happened. Scott Steiner, Batista bomb connected. Can this be at one, two, three? Wow, the animal Batista making, making himself not making a big ass impact tonight here on Impact. Yeah, no pun intended. I was trying not to make the pun, but he made an impact. He just came in for a couple seconds and delivered the beat down to Samoa to. To the man who was beating Samoa Joe up, Scott Steiner and JBL, he delivered it. He delivered the pain. He delivered the Batista bomb. And Batista and Samoa Joe will pick up the win tonight against Scott Steiner and JBL. Big win for these two guys, I guess. You know, now, now I think Mick Foley gets to see the pay-per-view a little bit more clearly. And now notices that JBL probably doesn't deserve to have a chance at the ECW Championship. And that Scott Steiner shouldn't have a chance at the Classic Championship against the Moa Joe. So Mick Foley, you better be watching this. So Moa Joe, Son Batista, we got this one, man. We got this one. Now get that ECW Championship at Aftershock. Take that away from Kurt Angle. Batista grab. Wait a second. Wait a second. Joe just left the ring out of nowhere. And Kurt Angle comes in and starts beating down Batista, the number one contender. Oh, come on. Come on. Why does the show always have to end like this? Why does the show have to end with something bad going on? Thank you guys for joining us here on Impact. We'll be back soon because the next show you're going to watch is going to be Nitro. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.